Well, this is going to be a reading for the third week of August 2022, and that is going to extend from the 14th through to the 21st of August 2022. Now, right off the hop in that third week, the first couple of days, you have a male energy that's coming in. It would be a water sign individual, someone who's uh, very emotional, okay, very generous, very sensitive, very caring. It does talk about you possibly getting involved in family life in some way and doing things that, that show that you care for other people possibly for a water sign, okay? It does talk about empowerment. It talks about having a balance in your emotions and your spiritual attitude, okay? But it does talk definitely about possibly someone coming in. Maybe this is someone who is going to do something for you who is very emotional and caring and worried about you, okay? So in some way, perhaps they're going to do something for you. Now, as I'm thinking back on the second week um, or this the part of the, the reading that I did in the second week, and it said that possibly there may be an accident where you fall from a height, and you know, definitely if you fall from a height and you're off work, you know, and you're gonna need a caretaker, okay? Or perhaps you're gonna need a caretaker, or maybe you're gonna be a caretaker for someone else. But in comes this water sign individual, someone who's very sensitive, very spiritual, very caring, very loving, and they're gonna come in, and perhaps they're gonna do something to help you in some way, to show you that they care. Okay, it could even have to do with someone taking care of a pet. If you got hurt, maybe you're not, maybe you have a, a dog and maybe you have to walk that dog and maybe you're not able to do it because you hurt your leg or you sprained your ankle. And so someone else is going to step in and take that dog for a walk. Okay, but it could also talk about showing that you care for the environment. Um, philosophies, different religions, getting involved in community awareness or getting involved in some type of social activism, okay? So that's what it's talking about. It's talking about a lot of sensitive issues that are coming up in the first couple of days of that third week. Now, it could even talk about a move to a new home, a job, traveling, um, family celebration, traveling someplace where there's water. It is a faded relationship that is coming into your life. It's someone who's supposed to be there, okay? But it's also talking about someone in your life who's looking for marriage and commitment. So you never know, okay? And that person is gonna enter into your life in the first couple of days of that third week, you're gonna meet this person. Or possibly you're gonna get involved in some type of set, um, family celebration that is um, celebrating or honoring someone else's life. This could be a marriage. This could be a celebration of life, okay? It could be someone's death. It could be um, a celebration of a spiritual atonement or spiritual awareness, okay? It could be a baptism. But it does talk about you uh, getting involved with someone who's very sensitive and possibly showing them how much you care or them showing you how much they care. And that's in the first couple of days. Now, as we move on into the... Um, middle part of the week, the card that you have is kind of showing me that possibly this celebration has to do with love and commitment. Because the card talks about uh, inspiration, guidance, and renewal of feelings or energies, okay? It talks about fertility. Perhaps someone is um, going to become a parent. And indeed, Leo, if this is you, and you have wanted to be a parent, know that nine months, you know, I mean, gestation a little bit longer than nine months, but be aware that if, uh, you know, it did say in your card something un unexpected was going to happen, and quite possibly, maybe you're going to become a parent, a first-time parent, second-time parent, whatever it may be, but there is that, that new, that renewal, that new growth that's coming in. It does talk about optimism, so indeed, if you're starting a new job, I mean, birth of anything could be birth of a new lifestyle, birth of a job, birth of a new program of study, okay? But it does talk about enthusiasm, affection, kindness, good luck, unexpected opportunities, basically dropping in your lap, favors, abundance, health, wholeness, perhaps you're starting to take control of your health and your life and move it in the direction that you want it to go. It does talk about freedom of self-expression, being able to do something that you want to do, okay? A person um, that is going to enter in your life is going to be kind and caring and gracious, or perhaps these are attributes, Leo, that you are going to show to others, okay? Perhaps there is someone coming into your life to aid and protect you. If it, if it is um, a person who's on this side, 
definitely a physical attribute, but this could also be someone in the spiritual world, someone who's stepping up to aid and protect you in some way, and it could be a family member. Now, it does talk about your desires and your wishes being fulfilled. You're going to develop your talents. Strange luck, coincidence, coincidences, things are going to happen. Things are, things are moving forward in the world, okay? Trust your intuition and trust your own creativity because it is moving you in the direction you're meant to go. And here's something else. Here's like, um, it's almost like a statement that you're meant to hear. So I'm thinking because the statement itself says that healing will come in time, okay? So possibly in that second week, something happened and now you're needing to heal from it, okay? Whether that be a, a relationship that broke up or a marriage that broke up or a job that broke up, a friendship, it could even be a physical issue, maybe you got hurt, okay? And so that is changing um, how you do things, okay? But definitely that, that sentence, healing will come in time is meant for you. Now, as you're moving into the last couple of days of that third week, it's talking about money coming in and you having to hold on to your money to be very vigilant and very frugal. Possibly, I mean, if you're off work for a, a couple of days or a week or whatever, when you have a broken ankle or a sprained ankle and you can't work, okay, there will be security issues. You're going to have to... Um, you know, do a job that you're not going to need, possibly, if you sprain your ankle, you're not going to need to walk on it. Possibly, you'll be able to get a job maybe sitting behind a desk at the same agency. So, it does talk about having to be creative in order to achieve that, okay? But it does talk about you being able to build a secure base over time. People are very, are having a lot of security issues as we're moving into the end of August, okay? So everyone is having issues financially. So you're gonna have to be creative because people might not be able to help you at this point in time because possibly their bills have uh, become larger, okay? So be aware of this. Hopefully you're looking at this at the start of August, prior to this third week or even that that second week where there were some issues that were coming up, safety issues or concerns with your health. So hopefully you're watching this early and you'll be able to sidestep this, okay? And it's a good thing that I'm doing this reading early because it is going to give you that added incentive to be very watchful and aware in the first couple of days of that second week. And this is the third week. So now we're going to see what's going to happen in that fourth week. Namaste. I'll see you shortly.